my channel. So a few weeks ago I posted an Instagram picture on this look right here and a few of you said that you wanted to see it. So that's what I filmed today. It's just a pinky movie smoky eye and a I'd say it's kind of muted purple lip, but if you want to see how I created this look right here, please carry on watching and remember to like and subscribe. Bye guys! So to start off this look, I'm actually going to be putting a base down on my eye and I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going to be using the lightest colour Tempura um, just to apply this onto my lid and up into the brow bone. I'm going to be using a Morphe blending brush for this but any blending brush that you have will be absolutely fine. I'm just going to pack the colour onto the brush and just start at the lid and work up to the brow bone. If I'm looking down here it's just because my mirror is down here. I will be using the Modern Renaissance palette in the bulk of this look, however if you have these shades at home you can just improvise, it'll be absolutely fine. By the way, it's my chair squeaking, I'm not actually <laughs> farting or whatever, <laughs> it is literally my chair squeaking. I've actually changed my background around, um, I just thought it might look a bit nicer with a white wall instead of my bed. But let me know what you guys think and if you prefer it more natural, like me sitting on my bed doing my makeup like I always do, or you prefer it with a clean background. This chair squeaking is doing my head in now, so if it's annoying you I'm really sorry. <laughs> So once that's applied, I'm actually going to take another blending brush. This is just a Sigma brush, but the name has rubbed off, so I can't remember which one it is. But any again, any blending brush would be absolutely fine. And I'm going to go back into the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to dip it into Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange for this, just because I want this look to be really warm. I don't know if you guys see my last video, um, which was my summer... Uh, foundation routine but as you guys probably seen my camera did cut off halfway through so if you wanted to see the eye look I did on that look, uh, on that video which was just um, it was a smoky upper lid with a blue pop uh, make sure you comment down below it's so super easy to do but it is really fun and it's very summer appropriate especially if you guys are going on holiday or anything like that so yeah, I'm just going to keep blending that in. I'm going to go back in with the brush I used for my base colour just to make sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm going to be using the same brush throughout just to make sure there's no harsh lines. If you can hear clacking, that's just my brushes in my hand as well. Multitasking. But yeah, I'm just going to build up that colour just in my crease, just above my crease actually. So I, if I'm looking straight on, you can still see it. Just because I want to keep it warm, but I'm going to build it up. Um, to the colour that I want. So I want it quite strong just because this is quite a smoky look. I'm then going to go in with a separate blending brush and going back into the Anastasia palette and I'm going to go in with the colour Love Letter which is this gorgeous pink. Um, I'm just going to take the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of this. I'm just going to run that really lightly into my crease just because I want to keep it really pinky as well. I have been absolutely loving this, this pinky mauve, I'm going to say the colour mauve, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but I've been loving these tones lately, I just think they're so flattering on blue eyes, um, I think it'll be flat on any colour eyes to be honest, but only because I have blue eyes I can see that it's quite flattering on my eyes, um, so yeah, and I'm going to be applying... No, in the picture I did apply lashes, but today I'm not going to do that, just because I am going out for the whole day. Um, but feel free to apply lashes to this look. And again, with the same brush, a little bit more of that love letter, just to intensify the look of the pink. And it should look something like that once it's done. I'm then going to go back in with the same brush I used love letter on, and the colour Venetian Red. This again is a really gorgeous colour, it's a bit more of a deeper pink than Love Letter. So I'm just going to apply this onto the outer portions of my eyes. Because I want to keep this really smoky, but I want to keep it pink also. And again use a really light hand for this and just build up because you can always add more but it's so hard to take away. And I'm just going to build that colour up just until I've got the desired amount. 
and should look something like that. Look, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe brush, the clean Morphe brush that just had the base colour on. And I'm just going to make sure that is blended all together. And just so there's no harsh lines in the centre of the lid. I'm then going to go in with a flat shader brush. This is actually a spectrum brush, but again, any flat shader brush will be absolutely fine for this look. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the colour, I'm going to absolutely butcher this name, Buon Fresco. It's this kind of mm, muted purple colour. Um, I'm just going to take that on. I'm just going to pack this onto my lid. I'm keeping this look all matte just because I normally apply a shimmer, so I thought to do something different, just to keep it all matte. And again, I'm just going to apply this just to the centre and the inner portions of my eye. I'm going to take it right into the inner corner of my eye, just because I want to keep this really smoky. I'm going to go back in with the colour uh, Venetian Red, or whatever's left on your brush, and just going to apply this to the outer corner. And again, take that into the crease just to blend everything out because we don't want any harsh lines. To me this is looking slightly choppy on this side uh, so again I'm going to go back in with the clean Morphe brush and just blend out any of these lines. You just want to keep blending just because we are using quite dark colours we want to blend until our arms fall off. And it should look something like that. This eye to me is looking slightly more pinky, so I'm just going to apply a little more of that pink onto the outside. It's just when you blend, you sometimes lose the pigment. So we want to keep that pigment in. And again, just blend, blend, blend. And that's how the top of the eye should look. I'm then going to go in with a Morphe pencil brush and again in with the colour Venetian Red and just the tiniest bit of this, I'm going to run this under my lower lash line. I'm just going to blend this out with a clean, fluffier pencil brush. This is a W7 pencil brush but again any fluffy pencil brush would be absolutely fine. And again, just blend that and blend it up into the outer corner just so there's no harsh lines. And it should look something like that. To finish off the eyeshadow look, I'm going to take a clean uh, pencil brush. This is just a Spectrum pencil brush. And I'm going to go back in with the Tempira colour. I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone just because the colour was slightly lost when we were applying the eyeshadow. And again, back in with the Morphe blending brush, I'm just going to blend them two colours together just so we don't have a harsh highlight. By the way, if you're wondering what this mark is right here, sometimes when I have blemishes, I uh, draw a beauty spot on just so it looks a bit better than the uh, blemish that's there. I actually learnt that from Desi Perkins just because on her Snapchat she always puts beauty spots on her blemishes, so I thought I would do that today. <laughs> To finish this look, I'm just going to apply some Coal Pencil into my waterline. This is the Barry M Coal Pencil in the number 28. I use this in so many of my videos and it is getting smaller and smaller, but it's just a really lovely bronzy look and it's so affordable as well. So I'm just going to pop this into my waterline. And the final step, I'm just going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Mascara in black, but your favourite mascara will be absolutely fine for this look. I'm just going to apply a few coats of that to my top and bottom lashes. I love mascara, I just keep applying until my arms fall off. <laughs> my eyelashes are so pathetic. I have small, stumpy eyelashes. I envy those who have really long luscious lashes. I just really, really wish I had long bottom lashes. I'm not really bothered about the top because I can wear falsies, but I just have such short, stumpy bottom lashes. I just realised I had a bobble on my wrist the whole time. Ugh, I hate that. There we go, and there's the eye look complete. So I'm now just going to move on to the lip. 
So in the picture I took on Instagram, I was actually using the Dosa Colors liquid lipstick in the color Stone. So I'm actually going to apply that today also. This is such a gorgeous liquid lipstick. It dries so lovely. It's not drying at all. It still has a bit of tack um, and it doesn't flake off through the day or anything like that. I'm not going to use a lip liner with this one just because I find that the applicator is so easy to create a solid line. There we go, and that's my finished makeup look. Um, this is how I created the pink mauve smoky eye look that was on my Instagram post. Uh, if you want to see anything else or want me to do a specific look, please make sure to comment down below. And again, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.